Absolutely. Like we view everything through the lens of our own experience. Mm -hmm. And I think this is where you get a lot of that, that negative feedback on because people will see these things that other people do and think right. I could never do that. Right. I would feel degraded if I was in the middle of that. So therefore, because I feel that way, that person must feel mm -hmm. the same way as I feel because my feelings are the only feelings that I know. <laughs> I can't yes. comprehend feeling that way. So there must be someone yeah. wrong with that person where yeah. it's just like, could we accept that people are different? They have right. different needs and wants and desires and like, is it okay? Like, could we be okay with other what other people want to do with their own bodies? Right, and it and that's where socially I've seen humanity yeah go back and forth and back and forth. And right now it's very me, 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 and I'm I'm having a hard time understanding you. Mm -hmm. But you know, it'll sway back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's kind of one of the the good things about social media these days that it's really allowed so many different people to have a voice, but it's also been bad because it's allowed so many different people to have a voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it goes yeah. both ways. Yeah. Like on one hand, I think that it's made for a possibly, maybe I'm being optimistic, but like a more understanding world in terms of like the younger generation and seeing like things tolerance from other people, tolerance. what I'm seeing but as then, the younger kids. Yes, but then I've also them. seen, and maybe this is more, it'd be interesting to know whether or not this is an older demographic. It's either like more tolerance or polarization, right? It's like one of the two. And that is true because like I, have, I have seen both and yeah. it's not generational. Yeah. Um, it, it really it probably just stems with your personality, how you were raised, mm -hmm. how your parents were. Um, I, you know, there is something to say about nature, but nurture does play a lot in who we become as an adult. And I think also too, your life experiences and do you get out of your own bubble? Yeah. Because I think a lot of these people, you know, live in their own echo chamber, mm -hmm. right? And they don't travel. And they don't see how other yeah. people live and they don't listen to how other people live right. and they only associate and talk to people who like feed you know back into what their beliefs are and mm -hmm. it just creates this feedback loop yeah um i think you know that's probably that's why a lot of coastal cities tend to be more cosmopolitan tend to be more liberal yes because you're getting people from other countries to come in coming and, in yep. and there's more like exchange of ideas and that yeah kind of thing. yeah and i think that's where like the internet has probably hurt us mm. socially yeah because we're we're so used to our phones mm -hmm. we're so used to our computers and and that's how we chat which mm -hmm. on the other side is great because now we can chat with people that are clear across the world mm -hmm. that we couldn't, but I'm afraid that it's now lessening the actual connection, the 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 person face to face yeah. contact. And also too, well, on that end, yes, because when you try to argue with someone on Twitter and it's just a text back and forth. You miss the tone. You do. You miss the humanity behind Absolutely. that voice. Yep. You miss that, you know, having a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody about something yeah. is so different than even like, I mean, you know, we've all had that experience where like someone sends us a text and we misread it. Absolutely. We read it in a different way. Absolutely. They didn't intend. Yep. Because we're like, we're projecting our own voices onto it as opposed to then, and then they call us. And they're like, no, this is what I meant. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And now it sounds different. Yeah. Um, and I think also too with social media, the problem is, is, you know, we get stuck in these algorithms, right? So first of all, we only, we generally only follow the people who believe what we believe. Mm -hmm. um, but also like the algorithms pick up on that. Like YouTube's very guilty of this and it feeds us the videos. Oh, the YouTube rabbit hole. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Yes. Did you see that documentary? Uh, I haven't, but I'm going to have to, but because it is so true. Yeah, and it feeds us the yeah. things that we watch, so we become all. Then all we see is all the things that we believe, and we're not open to other yeah. ideas and other perspectives. Yeah. And it just, and that's how you know people yeah. get like radicalized. I'm so happy with the invention of the emojis, because <laughs> I'm I'm very straightforward and maybe a little too blunt sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, 
And so it's like, now I always make sure, okay, let's make, you know, let's put this little emoji. So it puts in like my emotion. Yeah. So there aren't any miscommunications or misreadings. So <laughs> it's so true. Cause I'm the same, I'm often busy and I'm in, I'm in between doing a lot of things. Yeah. So I'll, I often voice text too. And I'm like, yeah, I can't make it. And it's not like, I can't make it, motherfucker. It's like, I'm so sorry, I can't yeah. make it. But like, I don't have the time to write, I'm so sorry. Right. Or, you know, like, I can't write, I don't have time to write this whole like yeah. lovely thing. So I'm like, if I don't put in the little like tongue out emoji, they're right. gonna think I'm mad or yeah. an exclamation point yep. at the end. Like when you respond to someone and say, sure, if you just write sure with no <laughs> punctuation, you know how, yes, it, it sounds like a sure. Uh -huh. But if I write back, sure, with an exclamation point, it's like, sure. And see, I do exclamation points now. You know? More than any other punctuation. It's like either no punctuation at all or the exclamation point and a big smile emoji. Yeah, it's, just like, it's just like these little nuances of human communication. Yeah. It's just bizarre. 